to start off with, we need to prepare the machine that's got Windows 10 on. So if I log in to Windows 10, and what your machine is likely to be set up is something similar to this one. If you right click the Windows button at the bottom and click on Disk Management, get this windows that show you the shows you the current layout of your hard disk so this machine's got one hard disk and it's split into several partitions um, and as you see each of these partitions has got a description that one's an EFI system partition which is kind of like a boot partition then we've got the actual operating system partition which is by far the largest you can see it's 225 gigabytes the rest are well, that one's half gigabyte, that one's half gigabyte, that one's 10, and that one's one gigabyte. So that's where the most of Windows is, in, is installed, plus all your spare, your free space. You can see here, that's that partition there, called OS. It's 225 gigabytes, and there's 160 gigabytes free. So it's about 25% of it has been used by Windows. And then we've got these recovery partitions, so we don't want to touch those. In fact, we don't want to touch anything, don't want to touch the EFI partition, certainly not at the moment. And the recovery partitions uh, for Windows, and this is a Dell machine that I'm on, so I imagine one, maybe two of those are, are Dell recovery tools as well. Um, your um, PC may be similar if it's by a different manufacturer, it may have slightly different look at a uh, layout to this depending on what manufacturer it's from if it's a machine you've installed Windows 10 on yourself you may only have one recovery partition possibly two so I wouldn't be too concerned about what this looks like on yours the only partition we're really going to be changing and modifying is the actual operating system partition and the reason why we need to modify this is to make some room to put Linux from scratch on. So to do that, we can right click this box where the operating system is and there's an option here called shrink volume. So I'll click on that and it takes a little while to examine the um, data on the disk. So I'll just give that a chance. and you'll see it gives you some information about the disk so it says the total size of the disk before we shrink it is 231,000 megabytes so it's 231 gigabytes basically and it says the available space we can shrink is 112 gigabytes and it's offered us to shrink the maximum amount now we don't need that much at all that's way way above what we need to install Linux from scratch. The minimum I would say you need for um, Linux from scratch if you're tight on space is 8 gigabytes. Um, if you're thinking about going beyond Linux from scratch which is a separate project where you can add loads of um, apps and software such as browsers and office suites uh, I would consider going up to 20 maybe even 30 30 odd gigabytes. Um, I'm going to go for 64 gigabytes, so that is 65536 if you want to be accurate in terms of binary numbers. Um, but it doesn't matter if you want to do, say, 60,000, that would be fine. Uh, but I'm just going to go for 65536 basically that number divided by 1024 so if you wanted 32 gigabytes you do 32 times 1024 because that's a binary binary uh, kilobyte so that that's how I get that figure so that's how much I'm going to shrink it by so we'll have basically 64 gigabytes of space somewhere in this layout so let's click shrink now this is a solid state drive so it'll be relatively quick if you're on an old mechanical drive certainly if it's a few years old it may take some time 
depending also on how full your hard disk is as well, that might affect that. So as you can see, it's um, completed and it's shrunk the actual operating system and it's given us a block of space where we can create a new partition for Linux from scratch. So we could create the partition here if we do new simple volume, but the problem with this is it will create the partition as a Windows partition, an NTFS partition, and we don't really want that, so we'll just leave that as it is for the moment. And when we come back to do the partitioning, we'll, we'll see that there's spare space on the disk. It doesn't actually show it here, it's not obvious on the list, it's only obvious here because that box, that unallocated space, has got a black bar at the top. So that's that part of it. We've created some space for the new uh, Linux partition.